thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister Order. of Corrections. What priority is being placed on the provision of alcohol and drug addiction treatment in New Zealand prisons? Mr. Speaker, Judith Collins. Mr. Speaker, I am pleased to report that I have just recently opened another drug treatment unit for prisoners. The new unit at Auckland Prison is the first of its kind in the Greater Auckland area. It brings to eight the number of treatment centres operated by corrections. There are now more prisoners receiving drug and alcohol rehabilitation in our prisons than ever before, and we are going to increase this number further. By 2011, we will, hit, we will achieve our goal of doubling the number of prisoners receiving drug and alcohol treatment in any year from 500 to 1,000. Shane Arden. A supplementary to the Minister of Corrections. Why is the Government placing such a high priority on increasing drug and alcohol treatment for prisoners? Noble Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, because drugs, uh, drug and alcohol addictions are major drivers of crime in New Zealand, about two-thirds of prisoners enter our jails with drug and alcohol problems. If we want to reduce the number of people behind bars, it's crucial that we break the cycle of drugs and offending. Drug, drugs and alcohol offending. Drug treatment units are very effective in doing this and the programmes run by the Corrections Department are producing excellent results. Recent analysis has shown that they can reduce re-offending by up to one third and we plan to open a further treatment unit in Whanganui next year. Question number eight, the Honourable Darren Hughes.